Okay, it's a uh, unboxing um, of my Peter's Vault Promethean. This was ordered October 14th of last year and it was shipped um, just a day, I think a day over or a day before. Um, pretty much just under a year. <laughs> one short day of a year of when I, I had ordered it so yeah um, it's been a long wait and uh, it's custom I don't even remember the details of what I um, all I know is that there's like blue abalone and it was, it's, it's blue themed so we'll go from there The usual thing, your charger, and well. Promethean was uh, again, it's one of those few designs that Vader Vault comes out that's just uh, unique, and I really like that a lot. Um, there are only a few designs that I that's really caught my eye, the Vader's Vault, and this is one of them. And obviously the other one was the Sovereign, which I shot a video last year. That was a really, really nice design. Okay, so yeah. Let's see what we got here. a lot of fillers. Box. Radiator's vault. Yeah, let's open it up. Open it this way. Yeah, let's, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Oh, wow. It's very simple. Very nice. Um, I didn't go for the etching because I find that if you etch it, it, it takes away from the uh, the look or the, of the uh, saber itself. So I went for a very simplistic custom job. And um, wow, this is awesome. Okay, first of all, this one business card, USB with instructions and. What not and the Allen wrench retention screw or wrench but so it went with wood grain which type because they have so many different types um your customization customization of series is just it's the best uh, <laughs> right now nothing can compare with other other companies can't compare with this with them in terms of customization um i went with the brass switches i believe there's also rgb i can't like I said, it's been so long. In, de in terms of details, I don't. This is um, LED here. Now you'll see that the blue abalone here. I matched that with the inlays when saber is opened. You can see here, here, and also on the opposite side. And I ask that these the etch marks. Uh, anodized or powder coated 
trans blue so very simple but at the same time very very elegant very elegant so I don't know what blade plug to put in this one here yet but um, we'll see we shall see just trying to fire this sucker up Whoa, it's loud. Okay, um, this is a follow-up to the, the unboxing I did a couple weeks ago, about a week and a half or so ago, about two weeks. Um, when I unboxed it, uh, fortunately the ignition key was... Uh, activation key, switch, sorry, was not... Uh, working so I had to send it back to Vader's vault um, and they fixed it in a, a, within a few hours of when they actually received it um, and shipped it back promptly so it was about what, a week and a half um, from the time I uh, shipped it to them they shipped it back to me so uh, it is working now, um, and I've been f actually playing around with it in terms of contacts and stuff. So I had to, I also have to make sure that the, uh, for some reason, the speaker is not as, I guess, as loose as the other one as as my sovereign. So I have to make sure that it's really tightened all the way so as to make uh, full contact with the battery. I suspect I may have been the cause, not the activation switch, but in any case, I have it back, and uh, as you can see, it's the Promethean. Oh, I don't have the specs on what I did on this, but anyway, it will be in the, in the description below. I went with a very simple custom design. I didn't want all the elaborate design etchings and stuff because the hilt itself is beautiful it's very streamlined and I find that if there's a lot of etching on it and whatnot it just it over it, it just it just cover it just overpowers the, the the design of the hilt itself I mean this is very sleek looking very um, and I went with a trans blue powder coating, as you can see here. Right around here. And also etched along this one here as well. Um, this is brass for the switch housing. Here as well, and on the bottom of the pommel. And as you can see, Again, powder coating here and in the vent, vented holes as well. Um, and to go along with that uh, trans blue color, I went with the abalone icy, icy, ice blue. I believe that was the uh, color name of the color, but here it is anyway. And I contrasted that with the dark wood grain here. Um, and we have the uh, RGB LED, I believe. And obviously your OLED screen here. And as most sabers are, uh, this is an NeoPixel. And it's a CFX for Vader's Vault. Uh, just Let me make it this way because I just want to show a 
do the RGB option here. Okay, just so it's the Promethean. Now, uh, the Promethean, I think I was, I'm not sure whether it's by one Sith, but in any case, the thing I love about this font is just the ignition. It's just, it's, just listen up. By the way, I've lowered also the uh, the volume on this because it's just it's just too darn loud. <laughs> um, as the guy in Back to the Future would say, it, it's very loud. I went I bumped it down to seventy percent. Even the menu volume, I went down to seventy percent because a hundred percent is it's too loud. It's it's not good for your ears, man. It's just it's not good. Um, Selection. Right, so. Now this does open, so if you'll just bear with me, um, I just have to uh, unscrew this one here. And take this uh, retention screw off so it'll slide out and um, so just bear with me for a second guys if you will now the only thing about this is that you have to take it all the way off um, that's the only thing about that. Um, I'm not really a fan of that mode of take, uh, sliding out a shroud. But, you know, it is what it is. Just have to accept it. Now, Vader's Vault does provide an extra retention screw, which is great. So, so that being off, all you gotta do is just slide this. And line it up with this, if that's where I put back this other screw here, and I'll lock it in. Again, bear with me here. Just make sure it's just lined up so I don't th strip this, the threads. Okay. And I'm just going to slip this in on the outside, just make sure I don't lose it. See? See what I mean? Oh my gosh. Okay, how about this? Let me just put my glasses on. How's that? Alright. Alright, here we go. Yeah, this is, like I said, this is one reason why I don't like these things coming off. Okay. Now, to follow the same theme of the trans blue. I also had some of the abalone in here as well, laid in. That's awesome, eh? And same is true for the opposite side. Cool. Let's check out the detail there. It's simple but nice. I like simple stuff. Just. Uh, if you overdo things, it just, like I said, it just clutters the look of the saber, which is why I, I'm not... Uh, etched sabers are nice, but, uh, you know, but when it's too much, it's just too much. It just it, it overpowers the look of, of the... I'm just saying this in general, of the saber, of the hilt. Um, but 
this in itself is just very simple. You have, the, you can appreciate the design, the aesthetics of the hilt. It's just, yeah, it's, just, it's awesome. And again, I it's very rare that I do buy sabers from Raiders Vault, so because um, there are only a few that I really, really appreciate or really love the design of. Obviously, one of them was a Sovereign, which I got a year ago or so. Obviously, their their Star Killer, which I got years ago, back in 2013. But, which was second hand. And then this, um, of the contrasting, uh, duo tone here. So, yeah. Um, I actually, this was actually delivered, um, a year, exactly just one day short of a year when I ordered it. So, that's pretty much on par of uh, their lead times, waiting time. So it's just one year sh short of a year, exactly of a year short. Um, and so, yeah, that is the Promethean. Awesome little saber. Peter's boat. Sorry, let's put it that way there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's nothing else I can say about that. I'm probably going to be... Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I don't know what fonts to add to this. Um, but we'll see. Um, but the Promethean th font, though, for this is just awesome. Um, yeah. I highly recommend this one. It's a nice design. Very nice design. And on that note, I shall end the video. Thank you. So let me just...